Hi, I'm Kirsten Wise. I'm an extension plant pathologist at the University of Kentucky. And today we're going to talk about the importance of coverage with our fungicide applications in corn. So there are many factors that make a fungicide application in corn successful, including timing, product selection, and also application factors. One of the things that often gets overlooked is the importance of good coverage of the product being applied. The reason coverage is so important is because our fungicides, although systemic, move differently in the plant than herbicides do. So of the fungicides labeled for corn and soybean, many of them have limited movement in the plant, meaning that they are xylem mobile versus the phloem mobile of a lot of our herbicides. So when a droplet of fungicide lands on the leaf surface, um, with many of the fungicides, that droplet will move up into the leaf tip or it will move on, it lands on the leaf surface and moves down to the bottom of the surface having a translaminar movement. But none of the fungicides that are labeled in corn move backwards or down into the plant, um, into the stalk or other leaves. Now we would say that 15 gallons per acre is the minimum amount of carrier volume that you want to use for a successful fungicide application, while 20 is actually better. Now again, this goes back to coverage meaning that we can get more droplets per square centimeter of leaf tissue with a higher carrier volume than with a lower carrier volume. Nozzle selection is also very important, or at least making sure that we are using the application parameters required for each nozzle. Now there are several nozzles that are used um, in fungicide applications. The flat fan nozzle is the standard that's been used for many years. It provides a droplet size that is fine to medium and that's the optimum that we would like for fungicide applications. We aim for droplets that fall within 200 to 300 microns or that medium range, and that's gonna give us the best amount of canopy penetration and also coverage. Now, there are lots of nozzles that are used that can give you a medium to high fine to medium droplet, and it's just making sure that when we select those nozzle types that we're using the right pressure to create the right droplet size. And some examples of that would be uh, the Turbo T-Jet nozzle and also the very commonly used AIXR nozzles that are used in herbicide applications. Now these are nozzles that are rated as excellent for fungicide applications, but you have to use the right pressure to make sure that you're getting that high fine to medium droplet size that again penetrates the canopy and provides good coverage. The take home points are that fungicides, although systemic, do not move in the plant the same way that herbicides do. And so coverage is very important for a successful application. Now coverage is a function of both carrier volume and droplet size. And so higher carrier volumes are going to be better for coverage and also making sure that you have a high fine to medium droplet size are going to be the best bets for good coverage for your fungicide applications in corn.